Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do-it-yourself repair and upgrade videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get inside your Dell Chromebook 3100 computer and access all the various components inside if you need to replace them. Before we get going guys, please remember to like the video if it does help you out. If you think anyone else can benefit, please share it with them. If you do need to leave me a question, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer as I do try to keep those updated. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I try to check those a couple times a day at least. For those of you that want to support the channel a little further, there's a couple different ways you can do so. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the project. Okay, so as you can see, my computer is laying on an anti-static pad. Um, either an anti-static pad or an anti-static bracelet are a really good idea to avoid harming components of the computer when you're getting into it. If you guys would like any suggestions on items that I use in my shop, any tools or supplies, I'll have a link up here to my Amazon store where you can see things that I've used that I think you'd like. On my Amazon store, there are several sections here. Repair tools is one of them. Uh, here you can find common hand tools that I use along with things like anti-static mats and bracelets that help prevent you from damaging your computer. As you can see, there's three screws on this side, two screws on either side here, and then two screws in the middle. We're gonna go through and take those out. Whenever taking screws out of a computer, uh, make sure you keep screws separate from each other. Not all screws are gonna be the same size, uh, the same width or length. So you don't wanna use motherboard screws in your bottom case or hard drive screws in your bottom case. So make sure you keep them separate from each other when you go back to put the screws in afterward. After these screws are all loosened, I'm going to take my small flat metal pry tool. I'm going to go along the seam of the bottom case and the palm rest and pry these apart from each other. Once that's loose, it comes right up. This is the inside of your computer. There's your battery. Before proceeding with any computer repair, you want to take your battery out first. The idea, just like we unplugged it, is you want as little power running through this computer as possible to avoid damaging things. So before you access anything else, remove your battery. It's held in by a screw here in the corner, here in the corner, here in the corner, and it's plugged in. You can see it actually says battery. Maybe your stickers are there as well, but the battery cable runs across and plugs into the motherboard right there. Okay, so the screws are out, and this is a very simple plug to unplug, I'll zoom in a little for you. It's a white plug that plugs into the motherboard port right there. So I'm gonna take my fingernails on either side of the white plug and pull them out straight out. And it comes out just like that. And now that cable's loose and you can take your battery out. As you lift your battery out, it was held down actually by this piece of tape there that I didn't notice. So just remove that tape and that'll come right off. And it's also held down by some double-sided tape right there so you may hear some cracking and popping as you pull that off but that's just double-sided tape you're not breaking anything okay so after removing our battery as you notice there's no separate hard drive there's no separate ram sticks um, if you guys are looking for that and you notice it's not here it's because in most small chromebooks like this the ram and the hard drive which is actually an emmc drive in this computer they're integrated into your motherboard they're part of your motherboard so they cannot be independently easily removed and replaced. They're part of your motherboard. So that's why, again, if you're looking for those components, you won't see them separately. You have your USB board here. It's held on by a cable that comes over here, and that's plugged in the exact same way. You would take your fingernail or a small flathead and slide that out. Get your USB board out. You would unscrew it here and here. The USB board would come out. So these are your speakers. The wires plug in right here to the motherboard in the exact same way that the battery did. It's a little white plug that plugs into the port. You just take your fingernails on either side and pull that right out to get your speakers up. There are also the wires connecting the speaker to each other is held down by some tape. Just free up that tape and these will pop off. Here's your motherboard. This is your touchpad assembly down here. As you can see, there's a ribbon cable that runs from the motherboard to the touchpad assembly. 
and there's a keyboard ribbon cable here. I'll show you how to unplug both of those now as they can be a little tricky and they're easy to break. So as far as your touchpad assembly, the ribbon cable comes up and plugs in here. Now you'll notice it's a white port with a black clip. The way that clip works is it folds down to secure the ribbon cable in place and it pops up to release the ribbon cable. So I'm gonna take my small plastic pry tool, plastic's better for working around these components. I'm gonna slide it very gently under that black clip and pop that right up. Now that black clip is extremely breakable um, and if you lose it or if you break it, it's very hard to get this ribbon cable to securely get in place. So basically if you lose that, your motherboard may be junk. You may have to replace it simply because this ribbon cable won't secure back in there. So be very careful uh, when playing with that. So now that it's up, I'll, I'll take a hold of my ribbon cable by this little blue tab and I'll just pull it out like that. And that frees up that cable. And then after I do that, I'm gonna push my black clip down again just for safekeeping so nothing comes along and, and catches on it and rips it off. But that's how you would unplug that if you were trying to get your touchpad out. Um, also, as you notice here, these are the same kinds of cables. So if you're looking at your USB board, you'd pop these open and you'd slide them out j just like we just did with the, uh, the touchpad ribbon cable. To get your touchpad out, there's a screw here, here, and here, and then a screw here, here, and here. This metal fitting on the bottom and this plastic fitting on top will have to come out and then you can get your touchpad out. All right, so I'm gonna open that back up and slide that back in there. When you're putting this back in, again, be careful. You can break it just as easily putting it back as you did taking it up. So it may take a little while before you get the right feel for it. Just be patient, be gentle. Once that's back in there and there's a black line you'll see running along the blue tab, that'll let you know if it's flush and all the way in. Once you get it in, you just snap that black clip down and it secures it in place. Get your keyboard out. Your keypad assembly is right here. This is a little different port. Uh, the ribbon cable slides in, but instead of a clip folding up and down to secure it, there are these two little black squares. You put your fingernail there or a tool, you pull back and that releases it. And then you can pull your ribbon cable out like that. To put that cable back in, you're gonna slide it back in there. And again, just like the other one, it takes a little feel for it, but there'll be a white line across this one that'll show you if it's flush. You get that in there, get it flush, then you push those two black squares back in, and that secures that ribbon cable in place. To get your motherboard out, there's quite a few more screws. There's a screw here, there's one there. You would have to take, this is your Wi-Fi card with your antenna wires, you have to take that clasp off unplug your antenna wires from your Wi-Fi card, which is again integrated into the motherboard. You'd have to take that off and then these screws here. Also this hinge assembly here is holding down your motherboard. You'd have to take that up as well as this LCD cable that comes down from the top. Put the battery back in. We just lay it down in place and we take your battery cable and we put that right in the port and then we just push in nice and level, get that all the way in, make sure that's secure. Once that's secure, we can put back in our screws. After getting our battery back in place, we'll just visually check real quick, make sure we didn't make anything loose, um, damage anything or make any ribbon cables loose before shutting it back up. Also, it's a good idea to try turning your computer on real quick, making sure that it works properly before you go ahead and seal everything back up. But now that I have my bottom case on, I'll just snap it into place as much as I can. And then I'll go around and I'll tighten all the screws. Thank you so much for watching guys. As mentioned before, please remember to like and share if this does help you out. Subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer tutorials like this. And feel free to check out the FAQs below in the description or leave me a question or comment if you need to. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.